Right, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about succession. Now, I've already made videos on Edge Transit, on Recluse, so I figured I would make a video on the next gun you should kind of keep an eye out for. So basically, the role we are testing today, and you might be thinking, well, this is a bit weird. We've got Discord redirection. So why on earth am I testing this role on Succession, a sniper which was previously hailed for having reconstruction and recombination and perks like that. So why is this interesting? First of all, I want to say that I saw the idea for this role from Mossy Max on Twitter. So he was the first one to kind of bring this idea to light. But basically, there is a bit of hidden synergy between these perks. So with redirection, right? You you guys may or may not know what this perk does. Basically, damaging red bar enemies will give you one stack of redirection up to a maximum of 20 stacks. And then with those stacks, you can spend them by damaging higher ranking enemies like yellow bars and bosses. And when you damage yellow bars, it consumes stacks of redirection. Specifically, if you have the maximum of 20, it will consume five stacks. And that applies a damage buff to the bullet that you spent on the boss. And that damage buff is 100%. It's double damage. So, you might be thinking why on a sniper you're just going to be wasting ammo killing red bars uh, and then you're going to have no ammo left over when you get to whatever boss you want to use it on well this is where discord comes in discord is a relatively new perk it basically works where like if you get a kill with any other weapon it'll trigger discord on the weapon that has it on when you swap to it and when it's active it will grant you infinite ammo as long as you're getting kills with this weapon so because this is a sniper rifle if i get a kill with my other weapon and i swap to this every kill that i get with succession because on a red bar, they're normally one shot to snipers, especially succession because it's a 72 RPM. I will get the kill, it will give me the ammo back and it will also reload it. So the idea is to build up stacks of redirection by constantly proccing discord, never actually using any ammo. And then you have tons of ammo ready for the boss encounter or whatever you're using the sniper for. So yeah, I'm going to use a weapon that is relatively inoffensive. I'll just use this prosecutor here, for example. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this lost sector here on Europa and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So bear in mind, we only have six bullets here. And also you might be thinking, why am I doing a sort of at power loss sector? It's not, obviously, yes, it's not very representative of where you would actually be using this, but in most sort of high level content, even GMs, red bars are one shot headshot to something like a sniper. It's kind of the same deal. Yeah, let's have a run through this loss sector. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I kill this dreg, I have discord for six seconds. I can kill this one, it gives me my ammo back. I never lose any ammo as long as the perk is active and I'm getting kills. So it just finished there and we get another one. Get a kill, get a kill. Kill another one. Move over here. No scope. No scope. And we already at we're already at eleven stacks of redirection. So let's just get another kill. Get one, two. And we're on eighteen. Nineteen. 20. So now we're at the maximum stacks of redirection. So now I'll just run through the rest of the lost sector until we get to the boss. So I'll probably speed this up or something like that. Okay, so now we've made it to the boss room. Let's just quickly dispatch of these enemies and spawn the boss in. This is without any debuffs or buffs or anything. So let's see how much damage we can do. Four shots. <laughs> that guy normally has a lot of health. That's why I chose this lost sector. He normally has a fair bit of health. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. Right, so yeah, you guys see what this can do now. It's uh, quite an interesting role, if I do say so myself. You know, if you're looking for a succession, probably keep an eye out if you end up getting this role, because I think this might actually be pretty decent in Grandmaster Nightfalls. Why in GMs? Well, like I said in the beginning, there's normally quite a lot of red bars in sort of modern strikes. So you can use this to, you basically just get a kill with your other weapon and then go to town with Discord for the six or seven seconds that you have it active by killing as many red bars as possible. And then when you come across a champion, you would probably probably have around, you know, anywhere between eight and sort of 16 rounds of redirection that you can spend on a champion if you want to sort of use special ammo on that champion, if you wanted to save heavy or something like that, you know? In terms of what actually I think makes this the most optimal is if you manage to get extended mag and then backup mag to get the magazine up to five. So I kind of lucked out here on this little shiny drop. Now, the reason why you'd want the magazine to go to five is because eventually when we get the ability to enhance these perks, enhanced redirection only spends four 
four stacks instead of five on a high damage shot. So as you saw in the clip earlier, I was only able to shoot four shots at the captain uh, because it spent five stacks every time. And obviously with a maximum of 20, you can only have four double damage shots. But with enhanced redirection, this gets reduced by 20% down to four stacks per shot. So that gives you an extra shot. So you'll end up getting five double damage shots, which having the combo of extended mag and backup mag, you know, you can get the magazine to five. So you don't have to reload to get every single bullet. So basically an entire magazine worth of double damage. Okay, so I'm at the moon now and I just wanted to see how much ammo this gun can get without any reserve mods. So that's 18. Yeah, if we actually end up doing the maths, that is five shots. So that's 18 shots, but in an ideal case, with enhanced redirection. That is five shots that have double damage. So in total, let's sort of try and work out how much damage that would roughly be. So five times two, which is the double damage bullets, plus 13, which is the remainder. We get a total of 23, which is just sort of like, you know, like an arbitrary number to show the damage increase. And then if we were to take a damage perk like Vorpal, for example, which is active on every bullet. So Vorpal on sniper rifles is 15%. So if we do 18 times by 1.15, uh, we end up getting 20.7. So that's 23 versus 20.7, which means that with redirection, you are going to be doing more damage for the entire reserves versus if you had something like Vorpal. And obviously your burst damage is going to be a lot higher having redirection than it is with Vorpal. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that this role is actually quite unique and you may end up wanting to go and grab one because it's quite fun to use. And you know, it may end up being quite nice in GMs, especially when there's like overcharged sniper or if they bring back barrier sniper or something like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. If you made it this far, thank you so much your support means the world. And if you're really into the content I create, consider becoming a member of the channel, which not only lets you support me in the best way possible, it also nets you a whole host of awesome perks along with it. A massive shout out to these members up on screen, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.